it's caddy chat number four. Oh my gosh i think it's number four well i just left the dentist thank god thank you jesus i didn't have to get a shot today all he did was build up uh this third one the filling that he put in there he built it up more and he said it should cut down the sensitivity of just the cold and the hot because it was hurting whenever cold air cold water or hot water got to my tooth it was just like hurting so 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 bad but he said he built it up and give it two weeks to see if that works so yes that's what we're gonna have to do Ooh, that is bright right there i don't know what that is uh, just the way when i turn hopefully that avoid so now i'm going to be driving home from Riverside back to San Bernardino and we can pick up on our caddy chat from last time so I was going to tell you guys how the palazzo was so the palazzo in Las Vegas is very very nice and it's 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 more convenient like it's more, it's more accessible than the big big hotel and it looks just as nice so the venetian and the palazzo are connected together so it's like the palazzo is like a next another tower of the venetian but it has its own check-in it has its own valet and it was so nice it was so easy like you drove up they took your car um it was complimentary parking a uh, valet parking it wasn't like you had to get it get a like at the other hotel you have to get a ticket in your window and all this other stuff but it was just so easy it was so easy and um it was mobile check-in so all i had to do was just walk through the hotel and i already had the room on my phone i wanted a different room though that's what it was i wanted a different room because they put me all the way at the end of the hallway y'all know i got a bad knee if y'all didn't know i do i got a bad knee so i was like no i don't want that all the way to the end of the hallway so i had called in advance and i asked him if i could have a um a room closer to the elevator and they said sure no problem but you have to pick up your key at the front desk the um the automatic key on your phone won't work because it'll be for the other room and i said okay no problem they gave me a room, I swear, directly off of the elevator hallway. So you come out the elevator and you made a left and my door was right there. I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. I gave them a grave review. Like it was just a, just a really, not a great review, but a grand, a, just a grander review. I just, it was just, I love this hotel. Everything was awesome. All the people were awesome. I gave them like a five star review. It was so awesome. It was it really was and before when we stayed at the venetian we had the two queens because i thought more of my family was coming and they didn't show up but anyway that's me you're here or there that's a different story but i got uh this time i just got the one king so because it, it was just me and james so i just got the one king and oh my god it was so roomy it was so nice i think i put the video out i don't even remember if i put the video out for the palazzo room tour yet but if i didn't i will if i did you guys saw it it was it was so nice it was so nice there was robes in the closets to snuggle up with it was a big bathroom with a sunken tub i think james took a bath every night we were there a bubble bath because i had my shampoo for my hair so we used the shampoo for my hair the shampoo that they give you and we just made a big bubble bath and he was in there just loving it i don't like baths i don't know well i can take a bath but when i get out the bathtub i have to get in the shower and it just i i just feel like you're soaking in your own filth and you have to get out and rinse it off i don't know it's just me y'all i know i don't know if anybody else feels that way just let me know down in the comments but as for me if i take a bath like they put some numb and stuff on just my my lip it just feels funny um but for me when i take a bath i have to take a shower right after to get any film that's from the bath off on off of me like it's, it's just weird 
but that's just how I am. But the tub was very, very nice. Um, the swimming pool area, it was it wasn't as nice as the MGM Grand, but it was a nice swimming pool. There was like there was there was one pool over here that everybody was in. Then there was a jacuzzi, and then there was like a long pool. And that long pool, it was like reserve seating, VIP, all that kind of stuff was on that other side. So it wasn't that many kids over there. And um, you couldn't just sit over there. You had to have that reserve. So they kind of separated regular folks from, I guess, richie folks. Um, so we was over here with the regular folks because we not rich. <laughs> we was over here with the regular folks. Um, but they that what I did like about their pool area is that all of the lounge chairs had cushions. So some hotels you go, they just have the lounge chair. There's no cushion on there. You have to pay for the ones that have cushions. But at the Palazzo, the actual lounge chairs had cushions. I was like, oh, this is nice because it already had the cushions on there. I really like that part of it. I really did. Um, and then they had like a, it's called the Capri Bar and Grill. It's got Capri Bar and Grill. That's right offside of the the pool. Like the pool, like right when you come out the the hotel, then that area right there is the, like you have to walk through the Capri Bar and Grill to get to the pool area. Kind of like a little walkway and they got tables here and tables here. So we sat out, um and had lunch there and oh my goodness their cob salad it was delicious i i think i forgot to take a picture of the salad because i just dove into it because it was so good and then uh, we got a cob salad and we got a double cheeseburger and we split both like me and james he had half the salad half the burger we still had food left over because they give you so much like sometimes when you go to hotels they don't give you a lot of food but at the Capri Bar and Grill, they gave you enough food to get you full and to have leftovers. So that was another plus for the Palazzo. Um, so I have nothing to say bad at all about the Palazzo. Like, I like the Venetian. And uh, and you can go and tour everything that the Venetian has. Because you're, you're right there with the Palazzo. It's not like you have to walk outside and go. There's a long hallway. I think I had that on one of the videos where we walked back from the Venetian back to the Palazzo. There's like a long hallway. It's called Restaurant Row. So there's different restaurants on both sides of the walkway. And it takes you from one hotel to the other. It's really cool. And then like on the second floor, there's like the Granat, the, the Ganal, Ganal, is that called it Ganal? Or canal, canal shops. So there's like a bunch of places where you could go shopping up there. And that's where the gondolas, gondolas, the gondolas were, where people were riding in the gondolas. I don't think I posted that video either. Guys, I am so behind on posting some of the longer tent vi content videos because they take so much longer to edit. But I'm going to get them out there because um, they're nice videos. I'm going to get them out. But, um, this like I guess this is like a teaser, so that means you have to watch the video. Because <laughs> in Caddy Chat, I'm gonna tell you what I did, and then I'll show you the videos later. I guess I'd be messing up. I need to get on my videos. I do need to get on them though, though, you guys. I do. But um, like I said, overall, it was a really relaxing an enjoyable trip to las vegas this time usually james is always on the crap table trying to make money and he just be on one and this time we gambled the first night the rest of the vacation we relaxed and enjoyed each other's company um and it was just it was just lovely like i did not want to i promise you I promise you guys, I did not want to come home for the fact that I just enjoy having his attention. Because when we're at home, James has six, well, he has five tenants that he has to attend to. He has a business he has to attend to. So I get kind of pushed on the back burner. So I'm not like his number one priority when we're at home. He got business he has to take care of. So when we're in Vegas, he was so tentative towards me, and I just loved it. I was just just sucking it all up. I really was. 
I really was. But, you know, I can't be selfish with my man. He got work to do, but I was really enjoying his time with me. Can you stay in your lane, homie? Um, I really enjoyed just our time. It was our time. I really enjoyed it. And I don't think a lot of people understand, like, when I go on vacation, it's to enjoy my man. Like, he has so much he has to do. And throughout the, like, course of the year and working the air conditioning company, working the apartments, he's a busy person. And I just kind of be in the background, you know, take care of the house, take care of the food, do whatever you need me to do. But I need my alone time with James. And now that we have Monique, we're not really that intimate at home anymore because we don't want to be disrespectful in our own home. Yes, I know, but our house is small. We don't want to be disrespectful. So in Vegas, it was on and cracking. Literally, I'm going to let y'all know it was on and cracking. It was, a, it was a good time. It was such a good time. All right, so let me get off of Vegas. Let me get off of Vegas. But it was a good time. So, now, I'm taking the street home because it is 435 right now, and the freeway, it don't look too packed, though. I can see it from here. Maybe I'll get on the freeway down here. It was packed over there by the house, but it doesn't look that packed down here. But usually, I just take the streets because... I get to see new stuff. There was a new building they built back there. It looks, it looks like another Amazon warehouse. Big old building. And um, I got to see that. Yeah, the freeway is moving. It looks like it's moving, but knowing my luck, as soon as I get on it, it's going to be all back up. But I'm going to get on it down here. Because there's like a bottleneck up here by the house where like two freeways merge. And this is past that point, so... It looks a little bit more promising on the freeway, but the traffic is backed up here to get onto the freeway. It's always something. It's always something. So I got a, I've got a few um, messages in my inboxes about Caddy Chat, and you guys like Caddy Chat, so that's awesome. Maybe you guys can give me some subjects to talk about um, and for Caddy Chat. Uh, or if you guys have, have like, uh, questions. But you guys have been with me. Most of you have been with me two years already. I've been, I cannot believe I've been on YouTube for three years now. But most of you guys have been with me at least two, maybe three years. And you know pretty much everything there is to know about me. But if there's something else you want to know... Send me some questions in the comments and then on our fifth Caddy Chat. And Caddy Chats, you know, I never know when I'm going to do a Caddy Chat. It's just, it's just going to pop up. It's going to be a Caddy Chat. Because I don't always go places, but when I get in the car, I can just chat with y'all. And then I learned how to put the intro on the, on the car, so that was pretty cool. So we could just Caddy Chat wherever I'm driving to if I'm by myself. But if I'm in a car with somebody else... They usually want to hear the the radio and the music, so I probably won't catty chat if there's somebody else in the car, but it's just me. Then we can catty chat. So I didn't I took mom to the laundry today. She didn't need to go to the market and she didn't ask me to clean the turtle. Walked the dogs and just chilled out with her until three. So I had to go to the dentist. I did dentist at three, so I left her house at um, two fifty-five because the dentist is only five minutes away, and I made it on time. See, I knew it. It's traffic down here because the other freeways down here, the ten freeways down here, but it's okay. Um, so she didn't really have much for me to do for her today. I'm going to go back tomorrow because trash day is on Friday. So I like to go the day before trash day. So I make sure I get all of her trash out of her house. Um, I can clean up some of the beans. That There's more beans. Yes, they are more beans. There's like another two trash cans loads of beans that fell from the tree again. So I got to get those up. 
and we'll probably go to lunch tomorrow she likes to go to lunch at least one day a week with me so we'll probably go to lunch somewhere tomorrow i don't know as long as my mouth is not hurting i'll be up for it yes i probably have to go grocery shopping tonight monique was supposed to send me money for groceries and she did not so now I have to go home and like, Bonnie, can you send money so I can go get groceries? Because, you know, all of us eat and it costs a lot of money to eat now. But she doesn't have a problem sending me the money. She just forgetful. She just forgetful. Ooh, look at that nice uh, Dodge Charger. It's all candy apple red and pretty. That's nice. That's nice, sir. You got a nice car. Nice car, sir. But James was talking about buying a Porsche yesterday. I was like, uh, if you buy a Porsche, then you need to get rid of the Jag and the bike. And he was like, my motorcycle? <laughs> I was like, yes. If you want to get a Porsche, we don't need a Porsche and all the cars we have. You need to get rid of the bike and the, and the uh, Jaguar. He was like, no, nah, I'm not getting rid of neither one of those. They both paid for. <laughs> I was like, that's messed up. <laughs> But, you know, man and his toys, you can't tell him what to do. I'm going to leave him alone. I got my Cadillac, and I'm good. Now, you get him a Porsche, that'll be on him. And I told him, I said, oh, make sure you let me know if you definitely going to get a Porsche, because I'm going to have to slim down so I can get in it. Because, you know, Porsches are really small, and I'm a, I'm a nice, thick girl. So, I'm going to have to slim down to be able to get in a Porsche. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I had to slim down to get in the porch. Traffic's not that bad now. It's not bad at all. It's not bad. So I don't know what we're gonna have for dinner. Oh, I hope you guys seen that video yesterday. I made oh, I made baked chicken legs and I put barbecue sauce on them and I put them back in the oven to bake like another 20 minutes with that barbecue sauce on. Them. And then when I took them out, I put more barbecue sauce on them and the chicken was just falling off the bones and the barbecue sauce was infused in it it was so delicious so it was so good and then i made a rotten potatoes steamed broccoli and then i just made like a macaroni and cheese broccoli mix kind of with the butterfly noodles because that's the only noodles i had i didn't have no elbow noodles so i just made a fancy pasta oh my god my daughter was like mom that was so good and i was like thank you I know how to cook. I know how to put stuff together. I do. I really do. I don't know where it comes from, but I have like a natural thing when it comes to putting things. Like I, you, I always wanted to go and chop. I always wanted to go and chop because I just have a knack for putting different ingredients together and making it taste good. But I never did apply to go on there. I should have, but it's okay. Ooh, they'll go to the policeman. The policeman over there in the cut because of the traffic but he ain't, he ain't trying to get nobody he was just over there he better not try to come get me i can't afford no ticket i mean i could i just don't want to pay for one so i'm good though i'm in i'm in the i'm in the right lane i ain't trying to get no ticket i am not i am not trying to get a ticket no i am not oh and i forgot to tell you guys i have a small video of when we came back from the fair there was a fire on this freeway again it was one of the palm trees there was a palm tree on fire i think i forgot to show you guys that i'm telling you i have video on my phone that i have to upload so i can clear my phone my phone is getting backed up with videos now why is it backed up here all the freeways are already gone now unless this is backed up all the way to the 15 freeway there's a 15 freeways up there I'm on the 215, and 215 turns into the 15 to Vegas. But, and I'll be going back to Vegas September the 13th, 14th, 15th, coming home on the 16th. Because I'm going up there to see Sheila S. She called. She let me know she was coming. So I told her I will be there. As long as I got gas money, I can go to Vegas and see my friends. So if ever you guys want me to check you out hang out with you in vegas you know go have lunch with you in vegas just let me know as long as it's not back-to-back -back weeks i'm good 
because y'all know I love Vegas. I would, as long as my car is ready to go, I'm ready to roll. And my mom will get in the car and go with me too because she loves Las Vegas too. She do. Miss Mary loves her some Las Vegas. She the one who started me on Vegas when I was little. They, my mom and her two cousins, uh, my Auntie Nat and my Auntie Barbara. We call them Auntie even though they was cousins. Um, they used to take all of us to Vegas every year. It was like a family thing. And um, we would stay at Circus Circus. Remember, with me and all my cousins, and even cousin Kenny. Cousin Kenny was one of my cousins. Uh, cousin Kenny was Auntie Barbara's son. So cousin Kenny, he's he had a little brother Jock and um, sister Rhonda, and then my cousin Paris. Me and my brother, me and David, and then it would be like I think it was like football though. Now that I think about it, I think it was like a football league or something that we always went out to Vegas. And because there was a couple other girls that were there that their brothers played football, I believe, but they weren't my cousins. But all I know is that my cousins were, we and my cousins were in Vegas. Man, they try to kick us out of the manor building in Vegas. If you guys ever been to Vegas, there's a, there's a Circus Circus main hotel. And then they have, they have a tower now, but before they had just the manor buildings, which are across the street. And there's like a little, what do you call those? A little not escalator but like a little shuttle that was closed in that like a tram it was a tram that went from the main building to the manor building and we stayed in the manor building we had like half of the manor building a uh one year and let me tell you we was frying chicken and fish and everything everybody that walked through that building was like what who is cooking and we didn't know we weren't supposed to cook like that up in there because they they didn't have a stove they had a refrigerator but we we brought a hot plate <laughs> my mama and my uh, my aunties brought a hot plate and they was cooking for all the kids and it smelled so good throughout that whole manor building hotel it was so funny it was so funny but we really enjoyed Vegas as kids and we used to go the 4th of July and we would go and I think that was the, the football tournament stuff 4th of July and then we would go New Year's Eve she would always have us in Vegas New Year's Eve and the fireworks show everything was just amazing back in the day you gotta remember I was born in 69 so we was going like in the 70s so it was it was just so much fun Vegas is totally different than what it was back in the day it's totally different uh being that i've been to vegas so many times i can see the, the change in vegas but they got they have a lot of new hotels going up too i can't wait for this one hotel to go up it looks like a, a fear a spear a spear a, 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 a one of them round circles what is that called a spear not a spear a I cannot, I can see it, but I can't say what it is. But it, it looks like a big circle, like a big ball. And it's going up right now, and I just want to go in there and see how that hotel's going to be. <laughs> what is that called? It's going to bug me until I can figure out what it's called. Not like the hemisphere. It's a, a round object. Like, it's like a round. It looks like a ball. But, you know, it's not a ball. Y'all gonna let me over? I'm getting over anyway. I got to get off on the next exit. Move over. Move over. I'm trying to get off. Move over. Move over. I'm trying to get off. All right, here we go. We got away. Thank you. Usually people get over and they see this big old truck coming through. Come on. Oh, I still got one lane to get over. Come on, y'all. Got to get over. There we go. And, um, uh, that's 
that's it. That's it about Las Vegas. I didn't talk about Las Vegas. Y'all know I can talk about Las Vegas all day long, every day. There's so many different stories about Vegas. I can probably tell y'all from we high to now. But I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. And probably till next month when I go back to Vegas. <laughs> Until I go back to Vegas next month. Got on my Panda Pound shirt today. I do, I do, I do. So that y'all know I represent my logo and my game. Even on uh -oh, even on uh, days that I'm not on the Pan Pounds show. The Mia's Koi show. Mia's Koi show. I still represent my merch. Everybody's like, that is a cute pen. I say, I know my starter designed it. If you want one, just go to T Streams at Mia's Coins and you'll find my shop. I gotta find out how to get the hash, just the hashtag, the, the, the link, and put it out. Uh, I have it on a card so people can go to it when they see me when I'm out and about and they ask me about it. You can get your buddy. I said, you can get you one, too. She just started laughing. I said, just go to my YouTube page. And right up under my YouTube page is my T-Stream. She was like, oh, okay. Not saying she will, but that's where it is. That's where the location of it is. Oh, so I just got off of my street. Off the freeway. So I'll be home in a few seconds. A few seconds, a few minutes a few minutes so I'm gonna say bye for now oh, I love my guys and my intro oh my god I can do it now you guys know I don't have no sense I love y'all this is caddy chat number four this is me as coins I'm out